Now I've got an ASIC deadlock case. Just in case you don't know who we are. There you go. That's who I am. Safe, sound and secure. Right. So I've got an ASIC deadlock case with this Euro cylinder. To me, just from looking at it, it looks pretty cheap. They haven't even put the name on the front of the lock. But on the keys, if I can get the camera to focus, which it probably won't because I'm filming. And that's always the way. As soon as I stop filming, the camera wants to focus. Right, I'm just going to read it. it. says security locks. Right, willing hall. Security locks. And it's just not focusing for me because... I need to get another camera, this one's going to get a sec by the end of the day. Right, either that, or I'm going to end up smashing, smashing it to pieces. So, let me just use the key to lock the lock, alright. It's locked. I haven't done the tire screw up all the way, because I'm going to pick it, then I'm going to remove it. I'm going to open this case up, and show you exactly how they work inside. Okay, I'm not going to tell you every way that you can bypass these locks. Obviously, that would be foolish of me. Right, I'm going to try and keep my hands out of your way as much as possible. So, I'm going to do it like this, I think. Right, JPEG. I don't think there's any spools in there or mushroom pins. Look, that's how security this lock is. Alright. I've had a go at picking this lock before, and I'll reassure you, I could never pick it that fast before. Don't ask me how I've done it now, but I managed to do it like that. Alright. So now, just, just to prove that I can never pick it that fast normally, I'm going to lock it and do it again. Because that was just, that was just shocking. This is meant to be a security lock. So it's got the keys right. See, told you I couldn't do it again. Now, yeah, there you go, it took a little more time. But this, trust me, you don't want to put that on your front door. Yeah, it's too cheap. You, you don't want that on your door. Why do you want to put that on your door? Right, anyway. Let me take this uh, off now. Let me take it out of the vice. I'm just going to reposition you guys in a second. Alright, let me put this down on it, so reposition it, so you can see what's going on now. Alright, I've got a makeshift uh, stand for this camera, by the way. Alright, there's the lock. Normally, it's got a face plate on it, which is there. I took it off because this tire screw goes underneath it, alright? So... What I'm going to do is just going to take this out with my hand. I'm going to remove the cylinder. Now, normally, most cases, you'd have to put the key in to remove the cylinder because the cam, which is this bit here, normally I'm going to use the key now because otherwise we'll be sitting there picking it every five seconds. All right. Normally, the cam would stick out like that, yeah? Not like that. Normally the cam would stick out about that far, which prevent you from removing it from the lock case. Right, this is the cam. That's what locks and unlocks your door. Alright. Put that there in a second. I'll do another video where I'll strip this. Uh, we'll find out exactly what's inside it, because on the keys it says security keys. When it's obviously just got... Um, I'll, I'll pick it in the video before I strip it, you know, just to prove I haven't messed around with it. It's sealed, alright. So, right, here we go. We're going to take this apart now. I'm going to show you. Let me just readjust my camera. I'm going to show you what's inside here and how it works as best as I can until I get my proper camera status. You know, it's awkward for me as well as you guys watching because I'm trying not to get in the way alright so that will come off of here and inside that is all there is alright 
there's a little there's a little spring and what happens is the cam will push that up and then throw that right so that probably that that probably acts as that obviously acts as like some sort of lever now right, let's take this thing apart completely right so that is what stops it from just being thrown open okay it's just like a little spacer isn't it put that back on now See that? That bit there is what stops it from being unlocked. All right. So once that's lifted, that can then unlock. All right. Let's pull that back. Right. Cool. So let me put the cylinder in. Put the cheap cylinder in. I've got a few videos I'm going to make today. So that will be a cylinder like that in now. The tie screw would then, where's my tie screw gone? There it is. The tie screw goes through there, through there, and into there like that, right? Now, you don't, all you need, right, you don't, when you, when you do this up, you don't need this tie screw coming through and hitting the back of the lock. You just want to do it enough so this goes flush on the front here and you get a good grip and it will keep the cylinder steady. Yeah? Great. Great. Really good. YouTube going to love this. Right, and then you just put that, you put the key in. Try and keep my hands out of your way. Alright. Oh, this is hard work man, I need a proper stand right. See the cam, see the cam is going up. It's gonna lift that, which is lifting that piece there. And because I'm not holding the lock together, right? It un it locks, right, and unlocks. That's how the lock works. Yeah. I'm gonna do try and do it from this side as well. God. Alright. Alright, locks and unlocks. So, and unlock. And that's just basically how it works. Thanks for watching. Now I'm going to crack on, this will probably be my next video, picking this open, someone gave this to me, I can't remember who it was now, but we're going to go ahead and do that, alright, thanks for watching.